Hello friend welcome to Tanya's biology today my topic is about cancer this is the second class about cancer i will do many more classes to clear all the characteristics or the features about the cancer okay in my previous class i already described how uh, what is the difference between the normal cell and cancerous cell today i will discuss the more important major characteristics about cancer cell one of the major characteristics of cancer cell is immortality okay immortality already i have discussed that but how this immortality will gain how they gain the character we need to know that this immortality comes from faulty checkpoint faulty checkpoint what is faulty checkpoint we all know that what is checkpoint if if we discuss the cell cycle we show that if this is the m phase this is g1 this is s and this is the g2 phase checkpoints are present in between g1 and s g2 and m and s and g2 what is the function of the checkpoint if one phase doesn't work properly then the checkpoint told them firstly do that work then you can able to come to the next phase before that you are not going to the next phase they actually check if the phase doing the right thing or not if they are not doing the right thing they prevent the going to the next phase okay like the s phase this s phase is responsible for the synthesis this s phase is responsible for the synthesis or duplication of chromosome duplication of chromosome if the duplication is not sufficient if the duplication is not sufficient then the cell not able to go to the g2 phase because there are some signal there are some chemical signal like hormone told them that you are not doing the right thing you are not giving us the right agreemental property what you agreemented to give us that that much amount of chromosome firstly you produce that much of chromosome then you can go to the next phase otherwise you are not going to the that phase okay so faulty checkpoint means checkpoints are unable to check that point unable to check that point that means in case of cancerous cell these checkpoints are became faulty so that the unhealthy cell growth occurred that means checkpoints are not able to check that the property was done was right or wrong then they are and going into the faulty phase so that they form the cancerous cell the tumorous cell malignant tumor cell okay this is the first characteristics of the cancerous cell one of the major characteristics is rapid growth and division in my previous class i told you that rapid growth as we grow older as a cell grow older the division the cell growth and division became higher and cell death became lower in case of cancerous cell that that means death low cell growth and division they came high this is the characteristics of cancer cell okay now we discuss about the cell growth and division cell growth and division how this rapid growth occur and how this division occur this rapid growth occur if we consider it as a cell there is a nucleus there are some receptor present outside the cell like this these cells these receptors are for the chemical messengers these are the chemical messengers okay once the chemical messenger bind with the receptor they produce a signal they produces some signal let me draw it another color they produces some signal this signal told the nucleus prepare yourself for the division 
prepare yourself for the further division because the ultimate ultimate goal of all most of the cell is division the ultimate goal of most of the cell is division so when the chemical messenger bind with the receptor the receptor produces some signal to tell the nucleus that prepare yourself for the division when this division occur this receptor will loosen okay when the cell became old the number of the receptor decreases when the cell became old the number of the receptor decreases as a result no more receptor will bind with it they are uh, unable to the cell will unable to divide and the cell death occur but in case of cancerous cell but in case of cancerous cell the cell receptor will not stop to divide or the cell receptor stop to bind with it big that the, that reason the receptor the chemical messenger bind with it um, it doesn't matter they are young or they are old they binding increases day by day as a result more and more cells will form they form a clump of cell they form a clump of cell okay if we consider this is a receptor of known as egf what is the full form of egf epidermal growth factor epidermal growth factor if they bind with it they produce a signal told the nuclear that you are able to bind or you are prepare yourself for the next division then the cell will divide okay this is the another factor of grow, cell growth and division cell growth and division which is the next factor no contact inhibition what is contact inhibition our body is full of a cell not only one cell there are many cells present in our body in the epidermal layer in our endodermal layer okay they form a clump they they sit like this they sit like this so they are one one is close to another one is close to another when if there is an injury if there is an injury what will happen then what will happen then a free space will form a new cell will occur on the free space but as much as it require not more than that as much as it require not more than that that means contact inhibition produces signal to tell them it already crowded don't make it overcrowded that means contact inhibition tell the signal that it is already crowded don't make it overcrowded so stop division so stop division in case of injury only the number of cell is damaged only that much of cell is produced not more than that not more than that okay in case of cancerous cell no contact inhibition occur that means crowded became overcrowded that means crowded became overcrowded no contact inhibition told them that this is overcrowded place please stop division they not getting that signal they are not getting that signal okay this is the no contact inhibition now the next is proliferation or metastasis what is proliferation when what is proliferation after invading the cell after they invade our tissue they can go from one place to another place it is already um, also known as a migration they can go from one place to another place this is the very major characteristic that is good for them worse for us good for them and worse for us because cancer if they are growing in a particular region we can operate it but when they are spread all over our body we can't able to recognize which cell cell is a proper cell which cell is a cancerous cell so we need to kill all the cell and the person became die dead okay the person became dead that is the another phenomenon which is very dangerous for our body okay so after invading the cell after invading our tissue they migrate from one place to another place the metastatic character shows them okay next one question one important question is if a cell grow that means the cell need nutrition the cell need nutrition otherwise the cell will die 
then if a, there is a clump of cell that means they require more and more nutrient but there is a character of cancer cell is that they need small nutrition they can manage with it they can modify it according to the nutrition level according to their nutrition level. if they get small nutrition they can manage with that nutrition and grow beyond that factor they grow by avoiding that factor that they ha don't have that much of nutrition having low nutrition they can also manage themselves and able to divide okay and they also need that much of oxygen for their growth they also need that much not only nutrition they also need oxygen for their growth from where this oxygen will come there was blood vessel if i draw this is a cell there is a clump of cell then the blood vessel will flow like this they cover the blood vessel blood vessel cover up the clump cell then next clump will form above the blood vessel the next blood vessel cover the cell so that's how they get all the oxygen that is needed for the cell that is needed for the cell okay one of the character what is not written here is the immunity they destroy our immunity they destroy our immunity that's why our immune system can't perform against them can't perform against them okay these characteristics are the major characteristics of the cancer cell what is cancer cell we talked before that cancer cell is a malignant tumor okay there are two types of tumor one is benign tumor another one is malignant tumor in case of benign tumor what will happen what is the difference between benign tumor and malignant tumor and malignant tumor in case of benign tumor there is no immortality no immortality no immortality but in case of malignant tumor there is immortality in case of malignant tumor there is growth but there is a controlled growth growth there they shows controlled growth okay controlled growth controlled growth and as well as they are not proliferating not not proliferating but malignant tumors are proliferating these are the difference between benign tumor and the malignant tumor now talked about let me talk about the character uh, types of tumor types of tumor there are three types of tumor there are three types of tumor one is carcinoma what is carcinoma most of the 80% of the case, cases are carcinoma what is that carcinoma means uh, cancer will happen in the epithelial tissue like skin liver prostate epithelial tissue epithelial tissue of epithelial lining of our body that means skin liver prostate these are the epithelial tissue another type is sarcoma sarcoma this is shows less than 2% this type of cancer shows less than 2% what will happen then it is occurred in the cartilage bone it is occurred in the cartilage bone like spleen and the um, spleen no, sorry like cartilage bone gum gum fat tissue okay sarcoma another one is leukemia and lymphoma lymphoma and leukemia we all know that lymphoma means they are present in the lymph node and leukemia means they are present in the blood leukemia means there is blood cancer Le another name of leukemia is blood cancer that means there are numerous cell but they are not forming clump in case of uh, leukemia there are numerous cell present in the blood but they are not forming the clump their numerous cell are flowed in the blood and causes that death 
सॉरी शोज इमोर्टलिटी ऑफ देअर नेचर ओके शोज इमोर्टलिटी ऑफ देअर नेचर दीज आर दर टाइप्स ऑफ द कैंसर सेल सो इन माई टूडे क्लास आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ द मन वट आर द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ कैंसर सेल एंड वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ इट इन माई नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एजेंट दैट कॉजेस कैंसर what are the agent that causes cancer okay if you need to get all the videos about cancer and other subject you need to follow my channel you need to like share and don't forget to subscribe